four new price action trading strategies and today finally we are taking a look at another few price action system strategies and ways how to better understand your price action charts so let's get started and if you are or if you have missed my price action videos and if you want to see more make sure to leave a comment underneath the video what is the strategy that you would like me to take more videos or make more videos about what is it that you're missing what are you struggling with let me know in the comments and i will pick new videos for my future videos so the breakout retest happens all the time it's a very very important and a very significant um, setup that happens and for many reasons this is very worth exploring and what happens is that you often have an initial breakout when the market goes from one trend to the next trending phase so from uptrend to downtrend and many traders are breakout traders breakout trading is very very common and what happens is that once people trade a breakout what is the first thing that they will do when the market has moved in their favor of course they will move their stop loss to break even and then what is the market doing because it's not allowing everybody to make money easily it is going to hunt those break even stops and the breakout retest is exactly targeting at those kinds of setups where you have an initial breakout the market moves in the favor of the breakout and then it comes back retests in this case the previous low now support becomes resistance and very often you will see such a pin bars or just such a uh, candles that show a strong rejection away from the breakout level. So breakout retests very common. And here another example, the market is in an uptrend here. It's more like a, a continuation. The market broke out, out of this uh, out of this pattern. We have our last recent high here. And I would always recommend to draw the last recent highs. In my opinion, the most recent price action is always more important than what has happened weeks or months back. So I always draw my support and resistance across um, the most recent highs and lows. So the market breaks out, everybody's happy, sitting on a lot of profits, what they do. Obviously, they are greedy, so they're not closing their trades when they should. And they also are moving the stops to break even. And where are break even stops? Right at such a breakout level. And then the market comes back into the breakout level. You can see with super strong force, it's coming back into the level. Um, first, the deceleration happens, the candles get smaller, you have an inside candle, and then the market pushes into the new trend direction. So this is great for traders who maybe missed the first breakout or for people who want to specialize in uh, trading retests and breakout retests. This is a very, very common pattern. Here, another example, and you have a very uh, clear previous resistance level. You can see we even have something like a triangle. The market breaks out, moves in the favor, comes back and makes a double retest here. Two pin bars, which is something that we will actually cover in a bit as well in this video. And at the retest level, you can see the market uh, pokes through the level a little bit and then explodes away from the level. So really, really common. I would really st um, recommend that you start paying attention to those setups because they happen all the time and they are high probability uh, across all the time frames, whether it is all the way down to the five minute or um, as high as the daily time frame. You will be able to see them everywhere. The triple tab. I have briefly talked about the triple tab in a past video and the triple tab is basically another way of understanding and reading divergences without using any indicators. So in a trend, what often happens is that as the trend progresses, um, as the trend is going into a mature trend, uh, you will often see that the price is stuck, uh, struggling to continue the, the trend direction or into the trend direction. And when you just look at the highs of a mature trend, you will often see such a pattern where you go from one high to another high to another high. However, the last three highs are very close together. So whereas previously in an uptrend, the market is able to make higher highs very, very easily. Here it is suddenly struggling and from this high to this high to this high, the distance between the highs gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And if you slap an RSI, uh, MACD, a stochastic, whatever indicator on it, you will see that um, you will get a divergence, a price divergence. And then very often you can see a trend reversal here, even with a, a very strong outside uh, engulfing candle. Another example, the market is in a downtrend. The market started a very strong downtrending phase here, but the downtrend uh, or the momentum immediately faded here after the initial trending phase. 
and from this low to this low and from this low to this low you can see the distance uh, between the lower lows gets smaller and smaller and smaller which indicate that the trend is losing a lot of strength and you can see here the last low even was a very interesting pin bar rejection so the market pushed lower was rejected within the same candle and then traded higher and you can see afterwards a new trend was started so triple taps are generally considered trend reversal patterns here another example very very strong uptrend and then whereas in the beginning the market was easily able to push higher from this high to this high to this high the market is struggling it's not able to push higher as easily the distance between the highs gets smaller and smaller and smaller and this indicates that of course the buyers are withdrawing the price is getting so high that the sellers are interested again probably a lot of buyers are also taking profits and you can slowly see the, the balance shift between more buyers to more sellers the double pin bar reversal some people call double pin bars also tweezers uh, whatever you call it uh, what really matters is the context and what the pattern actually tells you so the double pin bar is often found at uh, peaks of trends and a double pin bar obviously what does it show you it shows you two failed attempts um, of the price or of the trend to continue into the trend direction which is a strong signal that um, whichever power was uh, in, 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 in power <laughs> before so here the sellers were uh, c uh, clearly in power they were then struggling and you can see we go from strong bearish candles to two pin bars which are rejections to then uh, even a bullish candle and then afterwards the market exploded higher a double pin bar this is something that we traded in our mentoring program a very very interesting pattern on the daily time frame which you will then be able to use on the lower time frame to time your entry after a huge trend the market showed two pin bars um, very very strong rejections you can see that very small bodies very strong rejections clearly a sign that the bulls are not in control anymore and clearly a sign that the sellers are able to push the price down and down and down and you can see afterwards the price really uh, exploded to the downside here we have a double pin bar as a continuation so the market is clearly in an uptrend and in an uptrend <clears throat> for continuations you want to look for pullbacks uh, because they will give you the best possible entry price so what happens is that at a pullback um, you can see the market still made a higher high a uh, higher low so you want to look for a double pin bar at uh, end of trend waves and you can see two rejections here uh, at uh, at a turning point of a, of a correction wave and you can see afterwards the trend was continued higher so uh, double pin bars can be used as continuations or as reversals but it's uh, the more rejections you have usually the higher the quality of such a setup is so instead of trading regular pin bars uh, try looking for those double or maybe even triple pin bars they happen not as often but when they happen there are high probability setups momentum fake outs this is very interesting because it also is going into the or it describes the the thinking and the psychology of the traders uh, behind such a move so you can see i draw my levels around previous swing highs and lows and i wait for the market to come back and i want to see a huge rejection and a huge reaction at such levels so what happens here the market broke out huge candle many traders will probably jump on such a breakout candle because it's absolutely high momentum it looks like the market is just uh, breaking out and maybe starting a new downtrend but what happens in the next candle we have an equally high push back into the range so a strong breakout is countered by a huge huge um, counter uh, bullish candle and uh, many people will then get trapped it's a it's called a fake out pattern uh, because it, it shows you exactly or immediately that the market is faking out those levels and then very very often the market turns around and starts a new trend here as well the market jumps into the previous two highs you can see i drew it here and here uh, to capture the highest point in the previous trending phase and the market really jumps into this level you can see here huge huge breakout attempt and then the next candle is a very strong momentum candle so this momentum fake out is a two candle pattern uh, just the, the the bullish candle is not enough or just the breakout or breakout attempt is not enough you have to wait for the market to show you a violent reaction of uh, the level and away from the level and then very often the market will continue away from this uh, fake out level here another example the market was in an uptrend it, it started or it moved back into the level here huge candle you can see when we look at the previous trend uh, this was 
pro yeah this was the largest candle that we have seen during all of this uptrending um uh, phase and many traders will jump on it because they think wow the trend is continuing many traders maybe have missed the trend and uh, such a mature trend um, it's generally a bad idea to jump on those late trends um, uh, in my opinion my experience and with this hu this huge bullish candle is then countered with a very violent rejection of the level you can see the next candle is a huge huge bearish candle away from the level and back into into the range so it, it clearly shows that the breakout attempt didn't succeed and afterwards you can see the market really really collapsed in here we have another breakout retest even um, and so you can stack the different signals the different patterns on on top of each other to create uh, systems or entries at various stages of a trend so i hope you enjoyed this video back to price action let me know in the videos uh, in the comments below what you think about it what is the pattern that you would like me to explore next and I'm very happy to make a video about it.